And new at five, a retired Fresno County deputy who has selflessly served his county for 20 years is in need of help as he battles an aggressive form of brain cancer. Austin Heron, a husband and father of three children, is struggling to pay his medical bills after being diagnosed with cancer in July of 2023. CBS 47's Hannah Gonzalez joins us live down the studio. And Hannah, how can the community help? Well, a fundraiser has been set up for Austin tomorrow night at the Yosemite Falls Cafe on Blackstone. Today I met up with him and he shared his journey with me as he takes on this fight. No one's going to fight this fight for you. You got to wake up every day and look at yourself in the mirror and fight the fight. Fresno native Austin Heron suffered from severe headaches, brain fog and speech difficulties. I was afraid of them saying I had a stroke. After finally visiting the ER, he was diagnosed with the highest grade of aggressive brain cancer called glioblastoma. They don't know what causes it. They don't know a cure for it. He quickly underwent surgery. They found a mass the size of a softball. I just started researching and I got to find, I got kids I got to raise. I got to find a way to beat this. He decided he wasn't going to take the traditional approach of chemotherapy and radiation and opted for alternative treatments. I've had the attitude that this cancer will not kill me. The doctor's telling him he only has 12 to 15 months to live. Today, he's on month 14. Heavenly Father may call me home. It does not mean that I, this killed me. This means my time here was done. As he continues to fight, the medical bills pile higher as his insurance declines to cover the alternate treatment. We've paid just under six figures of medical expenses. Insurance reimbursed us $125 of those. That's where George Osborne with Life After the Badge steps in. While the organization is still on the ground, the goal is to help first responders as they go through the hardest part of their life, like an accident or illness. My hope is that we can raise close to $15,000. Tomorrow's fundraiser is from 6 p.m. to 9 with a silent auction. For more information to donate, you can visit our website, yourcentralvalley.com, and click on this story. Reporting live in studio, Hannah Gonzalez, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.